Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Rekar Kedash, the monster of the apostles, the monster of the elders, a great millstone who well and taught us his truth. Much respect to you, brothers out there, just preach his word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of earth. Tabernacle David, hope for elect and the sparkle burn. I want to say shalom. So I'm get right into it. So the other day, I was watching South Park. And um, hey, had a few gems in there, and so I'm just gonna speak on, uh, upon it, and I'll bring out a couple scriptures and I will close out. All right, because you had uh <laughs> the teacher, what he do like? Had like a uh, uh, seven, seven bomb drills in one day. Okay, <laughs> and, hey, that just goes to show you, man. These people ain't spiritual. Matter of fact, the Lord say, says, uh, lean not unto thy own understanding. Because it's very imperative. You know, hey, Thwani al Bashim al Shah, for this wisdom, knowledge, the understanding, for this truth. Because we're able to see what's going to happen, man. We know what's going to happen. And no song, no dance is <laughs> going to get uh, Gog and Magog, which is Russia, from. Uh, shooting those nuclear missiles man you know and 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 when those nuclear missiles hit none of those fire drills uh sloggy and those bomb drills that you've been doing <laughs> it's gonna save you man all right because the lord is gonna hit this place with millions upon millions of missiles you through man you through it's <laughs> it ain't no help you and only the elect is going to get beamed up out of here so Hey, keep on doing those uh, uh bomb drills. It's not gonna help you. Matter of fact, you you know you got them people out there, the preppers. Now I will say this: there ain't nothing wrong with getting a little bag, you know, uh, you know, with some essentials. Because the scriptures do say we we shall be uh, pilgrims upon the earth. Nothing wrong with that. But when you put your trust in it, you know, when you put your trust in it, and you're not trusting in. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, if you're Israelite, first and foremost, and you're not trusting Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you through. Okay, those food, those rations, those guns, swords, whatever, bow and arrows. Hey, hey, the Lord will put it in the hands of his elect. <laughs> okay? The man's goings of the Lord. The Lord may have it to where you out there in the field and you find a, a bunker or something and you'll be able to chill in there. All right, let's go ahead and get some scriptures. I said, um, point out some uh, things that I saw in this uh, in this episode, but I'm gonna get this right here. This is Proverbs three and verse five. Trust in the Lord Yahweh Shemiyosai with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. All right, lean not unto thy own understanding. And so you see these people out here. You know that's that's pretty much the condition of these people out here. Oh, I gotta prep. Oh, I got to do these drills so I can survive this nuclear missile. You're not going to survive these nuclear missiles, man. That's it. You're done. When this place is hit with nuclear missiles, ain't, ain't no saving it. All right, this place, Babylon the Great America is going to be desolate. It's going to be a desolation, man. All right. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct his path. A man's goings of the Lord. 
And when you acknowledge the Lord, all right, he's going to lead you into a prosperous path. Now, it's not to say you ain't going to have any bumps and bruises. All right. That's just part of the Lord's Lord's story. But you're going to be better off than these people are here. Because they have no idea what's really going to happen. They're not expecting to see men of the Lord that's out there on the highways and byways. They're not expecting to see them flying with spiritual power. They're not expecting to see angels looking like so-called black men. They're not expecting to see a so-called black man or savior. They're, they're, not, they're not expecting that. All right? And they're thinking a song and a dance. And matter of fact, <laughs> uh, I believe the U.S. is running out of uh, funding to help Russia over there. Come on, man. You can't stop World War III. You can't stop it from happening. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. And that's what the Lord has called us to do and to be, you know, to keep this standard. All right, because when you're wise in your own eyes, you move on your own accord and, and you think that you're right. You think that you're going to escape the wrath for Yahweh Bashem El Shai and you're not. Okay. Matter of fact, let's get this. As I quoted earlier, uh, 2 Ezra 16 and verse 40. Oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle. All right. Right now we're getting spiritually ready for the battle. All right. Spiritually ready for Jacob's trouble. Because as you read down, all right, you have a house, home, goods, or whatever, and you got to leave that behind. And trust that the Lord, Yahweh Shemiah is going to take care of you. And those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Okay. Pilgrims upon the earth. What, what do pilgrims do? All right. You're out there in the wilderness, walking. You know, you're not staying in, in one place, okay? Hey, that's just the Lord's movie. You may be able to stay in one place for a little while, but you know, that's that's all up to the Lord in, in his movie, you know? But once again, uh, like, I call it, like I said earlier, you know, you read down, you have goods, you know, a business. When Jacob's trouble pops off, you gotta leave that behind. If not, hey, you most likely gonna take the MOTB. Let's get this right here, cause hey, we gotta put our utmost faith in y'all watching me outside. That he's gonna take care of us and feed us, clothe us in these last days. He's gonna do it. But these these people out here, they're carnal, and they don't have that type of spirit on them. Matthew 6 and verse 25, therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life and what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body that ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? All right, because you got these people, once again, these preppers out here. I got to get all this food. I got to get all that, you know. Once again, there ain't nothing wrong with having that stuff. But don't, hey, if you don't have your how about Shemiel Shai, you through, man. You through. <laughs> You're not going to be able to have that stuff. You're not going to be able to enjoy it. All right? Check this, verse 26. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? <laughs> okay? Hey, but if the Heavenly Father feeds the birds, you're better than the birds. So guess what? The Lord is going to feed you in these last days. You know, you read about the miracles that Yahweh Shai did. You read about uh, um, what the Lord has done for our people, raining manna from heaven. You know, hey, we're going to be able to do that. We're going to be able to feed a multitude of people or, or your household that's rolling with you, you know? With a small amount of food or, or a large amount of food, be able to multiply that. All right. Let's see. Let's get this. This is Job 14 and verse 5. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. All right. Because these people are the wicked. They're made, they're made to be destroyed. All right. They are the wicked. Can't, can't be out here holding hands. And also, you know, it goes to the food. 
you know, you got these uh, uh, Christians out here. Oh, all I got to do is pray over this food and it's clean and it's good. No. All right. If that food is not according to the law that you should be eating, that's an abomination unto you. Pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster is an abomination unto you. All right. We have dietary laws. We live by a standard. But these people out here don't, don't live by a standard. Here's the point. Verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. All right. So the Lord has set time for this man to rule. And his rulership is going to be up. He's going to be through. All right. That's why we go out there to the highways and byways proudly man and boldly because we know that we're going to be <laughs> the last one standing we're going to get the last laugh what will we be those men all right get the point right here proverbs 16 and verse 4 the lord had made all things for himself yea, even the wicked for the day of evil so there's no escape in the day of evil ain't no song no dance and no pony ride or whatever is going to keep these other nations in Russia from shooting missiles upon Babylon, the great and other parts of the earth as well, is going to get hit. Scriptures say that the earth is going to rock to and fro like a drunkard. And the Lord is not a man that he should lie. All right. And his word is not going to return unto him void. So it's going to happen. So when you implement that MOTB, hey, you pretty much through. You pretty much signed your death certificate. <laughs> you through. You know, you're going to look up. A missile's going to hit. And, and, and you in slavery. He <laughs> saw you. Okay? And get the point right here. This is uh, Ezekiel 38 and verse 1. And the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, came unto me, saying, Son of man, Set thy face against Gog and the land of Magog, the chief priest of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesied against them. That's what we do out there on the highways and byways. We tell you, all right, that these Edomites are against each other and they're going to fight against each other and they're going to shoot missiles upon each other. All right. And you look at the condition of America, you know, America's army, bunch of transformers, weak. You know, it's a it's a laughing stock. You're supposed to be the greatest, <laughs> the greatest nation on this earth. But hey, that's what happens when you're fat. All right, when you're fat. So now that you're fat, these other nations are caught up. And Russia, behind the scenes, has been building up their army, building up their wealth. Now they're stronger than you. While you out there fat, you know, just flexing your muscle, you know, talking about how you used to be, but hey, you ain't nothing now. It's about what's what's now. Okay. <laughs> what can you do now? You know, you got those people say, oh, I used to be able to do that and that. Well, what can you do now? That's what these other nations are looking at you. They look they licking their chops, man. Go back to it. <laughs> And say, thus say, if you have power, behold, I am against thee, Gog, and the chief priest of Meshach, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. All right. Pretty much the Lord is going to control them. You know, as, as you push, uh, you know, you have a fishing rod and, and the fish catch holes of it, hold of it. And that fish is going to go to wherever you at. You know, hey, you may be driving the, the boat and, you know, the the fish can't help itself since the jaw, since the hook is in his jaw to, to follow you. If that line is strong enough. Right. And best believe the Lord's line and hooks are strong enough and they're moving. All right. Man's goings of the Lord. The Lord is moving these nations unto war. It's a time of war. I will bring thee forth. And all thy army, horses and horsemen, all right, the Lord is gearing up their army, man. They've been gearing up. They're waiting for the shining moment. All of them clothed in the source of armor, even as a great company and the buckler and the shields and all of them 
handling sword. So, hey, it, it's through, man. Once again, no song, no dance, no practicing uh, uh, bomb shelters, you know, practicing uh, uh, trying to protect yourself from a bomb is going to save you, man. You're through. That's it. Okay? <laughs> you know, a lot of times these shows like The Simpsons and South Park, you know, they show a lot of gems. You know, a lot of them actually know what's going on. You know, a lot of times they deal on the left hand side and the Lord shows them a, a little inklet of, of what's going on. You know, but at the end of the day, y'all through. Y'all through. <laughs> you know, you uh, if you Edomites were smart, y'all would actually hold hands with each other. You know, and rule over uh, us. Oppress us. <laughs> but y'all not, man. Y'all not, you know, because partly, you know, uh, uh, mainly, I should say, the Lord, the Lord's word is not going to return unto him void. All right. So y'all going to be fighting each other. And after y'all, you know, after y'all shoot them nuclear missiles and, and the Lord himself and the angels and the men of the Lord. Come with that glory and y'all going to be put into slavery. Y'all through. That's it. You done. <laughs> oh, praise his glory and on to y'all by Shemi on side by Shemi All right. So I'm in it right there. Lord willing, it's edifying. We're to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shemi on side by Shemi And a while, a ball, 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 a ball